Let's play. K. Greetings, K. Lovies. It's already July, and it's time for a Dollar Tree haul. Check out this adorable bag. I got this at the Dollar Tree, and reason being is because my local Dollar Tree ran out of bags. So I filled this bad boy up with all sorts of fun items, and I want to share them with you. So let's get the fun started and get the ball rolling so I can show you what I found. These cookies are amazing. They are Bud's Best Cookies. They say little cookie, big taste. And that slogan is no joke. They taste similar to Pepperidge Farm cookies, and they are baked with coated chocolate candies. They kind of remind me of the retro, old school McDonald's cookies that they used to serve in the box. And my family loves them, and they come with seven ounces. So if you see these cookies, I recommend grabbing them and giving them a try yourself. Because Best Bud knows best, and they are delicious. Little cookies, big taste. Then my son picked up these ice pop makers and said, "I would love to make some popsicles." All you have to do is fill this ice pop maker with your favorite little juice or soda or drink or beverage of sorts, and it comes with blue, pink, green, and purple. Then you pop it in the freezer, and you have homemade popsicles. And the handles have these little cool straws so that you can suck out the melted juice and enjoy your nice frozen popsicle in a beverage form. Then I grabbed these bath soap pouches. By April Bath and Showers in pink and in yellow. With these pouches, they have a little drawstring and this little clasp that you can move, and then you open it up and you can put your bar of soap in there. It helps keep your soap from disintegrating and dropping it on the ground and getting all slippery. And the drawstring is nice because you can hang it up on your shower caddy. I will be using one for my lavender soap and one for my oatmeal soap. And speaking of soap, this is the Yardley London English Lavender with pure essential lavender extracts and essential oils. And I picked this up because lavender soothes sunburn, or if you're out sunbathing or tanning. And the Dollar Tree also carries an oatmeal one that I recommend as well. And you just stick your little bar of soap inside the little April bath and shower pouch, and you have a nice scrub a dub sponge that you can lather up, get all bubbly, and scrub away and hang on up. I don't know about you, but I love to save money, and this little bank is perfect for just that. It has this little glass window that says "Saving for a Rainy Day." Donations accepted here. It has cute little umbrellas and rain droplets. And once you save your money, you can use it towards maybe doing a little something something on a rainy day. And it provides a perfect place for all of your loose change. Then I decided to give this a try. It is the Daily Defense Coconut Oil and Vitamin E Sulfate-Free Deep Conditioner. It comes in this little jar of five flow ounces, and it has a sweet tropical coconut aroma. And it is a three-minute treatment that you would leave in your hair and maybe do on a Sunday before your work week. That way, you start your week off with a nice, soft, sultry head of hair. This is what the product looks like inside, and if you've tried this product, leave me a comment in the description box below and let me know what you thought of this. Cause I'm gonna try this daily defense treatment, and hopefully I like it. I picked up this organizer with a lid. It's a hard plastic and clear, and I am gonna use this to put my cotton swabs in it. This will make my cotton swabs, which I use on a daily, very accessible, and provide the perfect storage instead of the packaging that I keep them in. By the same brand, I picked up this Essentials organizer where you can put your cotton rounds, your cotton swabs, and makeup brushes. And it comes with this elevated incline plane, and it has these three compartments. This will provide me with a nice little organization for my morning beauty regimen. I finally found something on my wish list. These are the tropical fruity candles. This is the ruby guava, and it has a beautiful. Little gradient, the red and blue, and it smells pretty sweet. I don't know how the throw is on this candle, but I decided to grab it and give it a try. This is the tropical mango candle in the same line, and I like the orange and yellow and red fiery warm colors on this one, and it smells sweet as well. We have the guava and the tropical mango, and then I found the pina colada one. These are the three ounce candles. It has a cute little pineapple on it. It has the same orange, peach, red, pink, fiery, warm summer colors. And this one smells sweet, so I grabbed that one to go with the set as well. And lastly, this one is my favorite one. It is the Island Hibiscus. Has a nice floral scent to it, 
In the glass on this one is the purple to pink gradient, my favorite color scheme. I have a nice little set going on here. I'm unsure. These are the four that I found. If there are any other ones to complete the set, let me know so I can keep my eye out on them by leaving a comment in the description box below. Then I found this Follow Your Dreams candle. It has a navy blue, white, and baby blue periwinkle gradient. And it was an unknown missing candle in a former haul that I did. That was pretty exciting. I will link that haul in the description box below so you can check that out. Then I purchased this Soft Lips Lip Conditioner Sunscreen with SPF 15. Perfect for the summer weather in the pearl shade. And it has a pretty opal iridescent color to it and it gives your lips a nice little shiny hue. It kind of makes your lips tingle, but it is perfect for moisturizing and hydrating your lips during those sunny days. In the pet aisle, I found this super cool paracord collar. This one came in size medium. They also had small, large, and extra large in various colors. I believe they had a purple one, and a pink one, and a red one. But these are super cool and durable, nicely made. And this is for my dad's miniature Australian Shepherd. And if you don't know, paracord, when you unravel it, provides you with several yards of string which is used for survival purposes too cool and to pair up with the paracord collar i found this dog leash it is nicely made and durable as well it has five feet in length and it's made by world pet and it has this cool little skull on it and it's black in color so these items will not get dirty easily and i will have a nice little collar and leash when i dog sit my dad's dog and for my little baby Emma, who is a half husky, half border collie, I grabbed this little dog leash made by World Pet. And it is pink in color, very kawaii and girly, and a perfect little backup leash that I can keep in my car. Speaking of dogs, another item in my wish list has been crossed off, and this is the 100 Count Emoti Dog Sticker Book. This book has so many cute breeds of dogs dressed up with funny, hilarious sayings like peekaboo. Can we go now? <laughs> Sorry about that, Princess Pooches. I think she likes you. How about now? Mmm, tasty. And so on and so forth. Super stoked that I finally found this book. And then my life even got better because I found the Emoti Cat 100 Count stickers. I am both a cat and a dog lover. And so these are so cute. Look at late night. Hey, baby. Besties. Crazy town. Gotcha. Flower power, gotta love me. What mouse, do you need me? I'm bored. So I was so happy to find this book because it is perfect and so meow-tastic. Both of these books, the Modi Dog and a Modi Cat stickers are fantastic. For my boyfriend, I picked up two iPhone SE cases. There are a two-piece little case in red and in turquoise. My son picked up this MVP emoji, it's the poo emoji, made by fun to play and his name is Smelvin, aka Dong. He's just a little cute figurine and no one knows the sure the origin of Smelvin, but he's most effective on hot dry days and he dislikes rainy days and it is version 1.0 by the MVP Mini. Then my son picked up these Jot brand file folders. They have three hole punches and they are plastic. And check it out, they have this cool little see-through line geometric type design, kind of like a pixelated Minecraft, and it has two pockets in it. So we picked up two of those for him when he starts school back up. And for pocket letters, I picked up these two packs of 40 count little clothes pins in the turquoise, yellow, pink, and white colors. So I can use these to stuff my little pockets for my pocket letters, which are by the brand Crafter Square. And for crafting projects, I also found these washable school glue pins. They have a precision tip on them. Perfect for gluing small areas where you don't want to ooze and get too much glue. They dry clear and are non-toxic. My boyfriend found this frozen Disney decorative kind of washi tape that I can use for my planners. It has cute little Elsa on it and Anna, as well as little Olaf. I thought they were super fun and incredibly adorable. And he also found these designs with the Disney princesses on them. 
They have Belle from Beauty and the Beast, as well as Ariel from The Little Mermaid, and cute little Cinderella. I will be using these to make a Disney spread in my Happy Planner. And in the makeup aisle, I found these Kiss Gel Tech Little Nail Polishes. This one is in the color Pistachio, which is a fun summer color. And this peachy salmon color is in the shade Sweet Angel. These are going to be perfect to paint my little toenails when I wear sandals. For a sweet pocket letter theme I have coming up, I grabbed these Jot stickers. It's a 12 count and they have this crepe paper type little cupcake holder and these 3D little cupcake dollops with jewels as cherries. I am also a big fan of Lisa Frank and I found this paint with water coloring book. Check it out. For this book, all you need is a cup of water and a paintbrush and you're good to go. Let's quickly browse through the pages. We have dolphins and kitties and ponies, unicorns, panda bears, little girls with lollipops, princesses, little castles and golden retrievers, kitty angels, and Dalmatians, and elephants in tuxedos. The fun just keeps going. And then this fairy with their pretty rose. And they also have these two little frames that you can put photos in. Then I also grabbed this Lisa Frank glitter art. I grabbed this little cute puppy that has these little dolphins. This kit comes with a puppy, as well as different color glitters. And they also have this little cat as well as these teddy bears, but I thought the doggy was the cutest. For an upcoming DIY, I found this little white polar bear plastic figurine wild animal in the toy section. So if you're interested in DIY projects, subscribe to my channel by pushing the bell or the purple kitty in the right hand corner. So stay tuned for that. Rawr. And this wall art made me super happy. This is the fabulous in the rainbow gradient. It is a canvas and it has a little window box back and this twine that you can hang it on the wall with. And when I saw this one, which has adventure weights and these cute little arrows on it, I had to grab it. Super cute and it's a nice little canvas material with a piece of twine on the back like the fabulous one that you can hang it on the wall with. These two hanging wall art decor frames are perfect. They match my room. They also had another one, but like I said, these two were my favorites. And in the school supply section, I found this SPK Shopkins pencil pouch. It has all these cute little Shopkins on it. It has this nice little pink zipper enclosure, and it is Moose merchandise, so it is official Shopkins. Perfect, cute, colorful zipper pouch for all of your pins, pencils, or even if you want to put makeup in. It and use it as a cosmetic bag. These Jot stickers were a hidden gem, had to have them. They have cute seals and beavers, clownfishes, dolphins, crabs, penguins, a cute pelican, seahorses, little penguins. This little guy is dainty and cute. And check out the polar bear with a cute fish in its mouth. Aww, these are so kawaii cute. And they are the Puffy Jot brand stickers. 57 count. This puffy pack of stickers comes in 102 count by the Jot brand too and they have these cute little teeth with all these different faces that have different emotions. Some of them even look like they have cavities. This guy looks really sad. This one has bubbles. We have a shiny and a toothbrush, toothpaste, and so on and so forth. This Jot brand sticker pack is the 53 puffy count and these have all sorts of breeds of both dogs and cats. And little paws, they have little corgis, little tabby cats, Yorkshire Terriers and Dachshunds and Labs, and all sorts of cute little adorable creatures that you can add to any greeting card, planner, or pocket letter. These puffy panda stickers were too cute to pass up. Check out all of these cute little dapper pandas in tuxedos with little bow ties, nerdy glasses, and harmonicas and accordions, lane, hearts, and love. Just so many. And that is an 80 count. This Jot brand sticker set with all of the sweet, scrumptious, yummy, delicious cupcakes and gummy bears and candies and chocolates and cherry cordials was to die for. I love that cupcake with the little rainbows on it. This is gonna be perfect for my sweet pocket letter theme that I have coming up, and that is a 30 count by the Jot brand. 
And then I grabbed this Jot Brand 58 count sweet cute little woodland fairy theme set. It has little mushrooms and trees and porcupines and deers and flowers, ladybugs, snails, etc, etc. I just love all these little Jot Brand puppy stickers. They're even elevated and they have that 3D touch to them. So fun. And I am a sucker for cute pins. I found these Couture Ink brand highlighters. They are quick drying, bright, and fluorescent, and they have these pretty designs. We have the rainbows, the hearts, and the flowers, and they have the assorted ink with a chisel tip. And in the book aisle, I found this unbelievable find. It is a Hello Giggles novel, A Tale of Two Besties, by Sophia Rossi with a forward by Zoe Deschanel, who is a famous actress. If there's one thing Sophia Rossi is, she understands is besties. She writes a very well-known blog, and it was a bestsellers item that I found at the Dollar Tree. Here is a photo of her. She's super pretty, and her friend is Zoe, who is in the band She and Him, and is also a famous actress from The New Girl. And she's also co-written for Glee and The Hills, and also The City, which is on MTV. And this is a Razor Bill published novel, and it's a pretty good sized book. And the book even is formatted with fun little text messages and whatnot. This should be a fun little fictional read, which retailed for a whopping $17.99 and only a dollar. And that is A Tale of Two Besties by Sophia Rossi. And in the birthday aisle, I found an SPK large gift bag, and it has all the Shopkins on it. I'm gonna use this bag to put my scrapbooking paper in or maybe repurpose it and use it to wrap a gift. And I am also a My Little Pony fanatic, so I had to grab this large gift bag which has Pinkie Pie, Fluttershy, and Rainbow Dash. And this is a perfect large size bag. It's nicely made and it also comes with a little card on the back and I am gonna use this to put my scrapbooking paper in as well. These are the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Pokemon cards. They come in a three pack and I collect Pokemon cards and enjoy playing the game with my son and my boyfriend. So let's open up this pack and see if we come across any EX cards, holo cards, or cool trainer cards. This first pack has a trainer card with a choice band and this attack of the Pokemon card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active GX or active EX card. That's a cool one. And it also came with a wishy-washy, which has an ability for schooling. If I have a wishy-washy GX card, has a weakness to electric Pokemon. Then it came with a Talo basic card, which has a reckless charge move that does 10 damage to itself, along with 20 damage to its opponent. So that's the first three pack. I grabbed one more pack of this series, so let's quickly open it up. And inside it came with an Energy Electric card, this cute basic Mud Bray card. He's a derpy little donkey and has a double kick 30 times damage when you flip two coins with a weakness towards grass. And it came with another fighting Pokemon. This is Pachum. I also snagged up two packs of the XY Primal Clash card sets. And inside we got a full art Tentacool which is a psychic Pokemon with a weakness times two to other psychics. And if you use an energy card and a psychic energy card, you can do 20 damage. Oh, wow, phenomenal. And I came up on a basic one, Lombre, holo card. He has this cool little green guy with a sombrero, which has a hook and a beat move with a weakness to other fire Pokemon. Last, this pack came with Bidoof, which is a basic neutral Pokemon and has a gnaw and a scrunch move with a weakness to other fighting Pokemon. Let's quickly open up a Sun and Moon Guardians Rising pack. It came with a trainer supporting card where you can search your deck for two cards, shuffle your deck, and then put those on top in any order. And then we have a basic Gligar card. He is a fighting type, which has a double shot move with a weakness to other grass types. And the last card we have is an Alolan Geodude basic card, which has a 70 HP electric with a rock polish move 
and a 40 damage rollout move if you have an electric or two neutral energies. Alrighty, then we got another XY Primal Clash set and inside it came with a Dive Ball Trainer card which is good for water Pokemon types. A basic low tad grass type Pokemon which has a 20 damage beat move and another grass type, a basic surskit with a 50 HP and all you need is one energy card of any type to do 10 damage. So excited they had Pokemon cards at my Dollar Tree. I want to quickly reveal this Primal Clash XY pack and it came with a Stage 1 Wish Cash Water type. Pokemon with the whopping 100 HP and a 60 plus and 30 times more damage rising lunge move. It also came with this other water type. His name is Spiel and is a 30 times 30 damage depending on how many heads you roll move. Aw cute and I also got this fairy Pokemon. She is a kawaii little mouse. Her name is Marill and she has a tackle and a rollout move with a weakness to steel and a resistance to dragon. Collecting Pokemon cards can get very pricey. They can run anywhere from $6, anywhere from $20 per set, and to find them at my Dollar Tree was such a fun treat. And that is a wrap. Till next time.